You won't see the onceler. Don't knock at his door. He stays in his lurkum on top of his store. He lurks in his lurkum, cold under the roof, where he makes his own clothes out of miff, muffered, moof. I guess the most important finding was not just that um, some non-words are funny and, and they're weird when they are, but that there's actually a consistent relationship between how funny they are and how weird they are. We showed there was a, a linear relationship between that. I think that's the, the important finding. I think just saying weird words are funny is not so surprising. Saying that there's a, 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 a quite consistent relationship between measurable, quantifiable weirdness and funniness is the interesting finding. It's the distance between uh, the concept that you have and the concept as it's actually experienced that is funny. That's the interesting thing that we tested. So the further the, um, the non-word is from being a word, the funnier it is. It shows that people are doing an unconscious calculation and the way that they're doing that unconscious probability calculation is using emotion, right? When people say this word is funny, they're going on their gut feeling. They're going, it feels funny to me. And we're showing that that feeling is actually um, a kind of probability calculation, and I think that's probably one of the most interesting things. It's implicit in the paper, we don't actually say that, but it's interesting to think about the world that way, that emotion is helping us compute the probabilities in the world. When I say the word sun cupola and I say, is it funny, you, you don't do a calculation, you don't sit there and go, what are the letters in that, that word? You just go by your feeling. And so I, the point I'm trying to make is, it's interesting that that feeling maps on to a, a probability calculation.